For those of you who don't know, this is the Hill Leaderboard dashboard uh, provided by Yomu, who's the admin of Simple MMO. He is the co-dev of Idle MMO. Uh, he, he also uh, makes, he made and maintains Simple MMO App Hub, which is linked down in the description, uh, which is that little chat icon under me. That's uh, Simple MMO App Hub's chat interface. He made us a dashboard for us to cover the seasonal go leaderboard in Simple MMO. And for us, this, we track the top 25 guilds. They're different tiers that are broken out uh, by fives. And uh, we track the last seven days of EXP earned and also the total or the total EXP earned throughout the season uh, until its end. Um, so without further ado, so first and foremost, we have Celestial tier, the biggest shakeup because guilds were just deleted. All right. So everyone gets a freebie. Everyone essentially got a freebie this go around. <laughs> okay, I, I'm bringing Vex's guy. I don't know about that. Keevan, shut up. All right. So in Celestial tier, because of the, the shakeup, the deletions, TSL once again resumes number one as a, they're the strongest PV guild and they're the strongest guild in the game. Can you freaking believe it? So TSL at number one here, earning 70.5 mil EXP. Sorry, Fresco is like really, you know, it's like acid. Uh, the Force is number two. The Force is number two because of the deletion. We have not seen that for like three seasons, I think, <laughs> if not more. The Force is number two with 44 mil earned. We have Friendly moving up three whole positions. So not only were Friendly uh, moving and grooving on their own, that deletion of Rain Factory gave them an extra boost to assume third place, which is the a first for them. If I'm not mistaken, so congrats to Friendly, whichever you know guild you are out of the 15 you have, uh, but 40.6 mil earned. Dead Poet Society, uh, moving up to fourth place. They literally just breached Celestial on their own without you know without any fanfare, and now they're number four. This is a true PVE guild from the get-go okay it's not tsl taking a break so they can level and then go back to PvE. this is a true pve guild and they're in the fourth place then you have still friendly two being overtaken by dps with 37.9 mil earned at uh fifth place insane so let's look at the exp earned from the last seven days tsl earning 13.3 uh rain factory was earning like i think 19 so insane but you know rest in peace the Force earning 8 mil, Friendly earning 8.8, .8, DPS earning 8.3 mil for a PvE guild, and then still Friendly 2 earning 5.5. .5. So insane, there's a lot of 8s across the board here, TSL has a clear gap, uh, but Friendly looking like they could earn more, they have more potential here. Um, and I think DPS is just golden. So that's Celestial tier, and how insane is that chat? Corvoid says, Autumn Rose hoped from still fr hopped. Okay, it's hopped. Hot from still friendly to friendly. That'll be why friendly has overtaken still friendly. Okay, thank you so much. Bomb says, yeah, we are PvE, but we don't call ourselves a PvE guild. Yes, true. That's why I, I make fun of you. Uh, it's Tansy's fault says Arctic Hunter. <laughs> and then Keevan says, I suspect botting. Excellent. That's a good accusation to throw around. All right, moving on to the legendary. Uh, and we have total on. Wolfblood, we're number six now. Congrats, uh, Dagon and myself, because it's mainly me. Just kidding. Congrats to Wolfblood. Wolf, Wolf uh, with 22 mil, 22.7 mil earned, moving up with one position. Now this, you know, legendary, Pandemonium, Pariahs, they were floating around here and then they deleted because uh, there was a huge shift of leadership. There was a huge shift of members. Uh, the members that were still there were pretty much, you know, uh, AFK. So they created space here in Legendary. We have Prost are moving two positions forward because of it. And also they have, they've had momentum all, all uh, season with 20.9 mil earned. Merge of the Universe with 20.6. Shadow Garden with 17.5, one, one position forward. They've been stressed. Shadow right now is in global, stressing so much. And he's also here in stream, stressing so much about exams. And here they are getting freebies from deletion. So, you know, you know what I mean? And then Asgard with 15.4, which most of uh, Pandemonium, uh, Pariahs, you know, whatever. Uh, most of them jumped there. Uh, so you can expect probably 
quick gains over at Asgard. But with three positions forward, so that's no joke. Now let's see what everyone earned um, the last seven days. Wolfblood earned four mil. Prostar earning six mil, the most in this tier. Look at that EXP earned. That is insane. Uh, Murder of the Universe apparently earning nothing. Or excuse me, uh, they held a position. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at the greens. I don't know why. 2.1 mil. Shalgard earning 2.7 and Asgard earning 2.8, almost 2.9. So Prostar are freaking throwing up celestial, almost celestial tier numbers. At least versus still friendly, right? Okay. So good stuff there. Good stuff with legendary chat. Shadow saying we aren't the worst. <laughs> I guess not, brother. But yeah, everyone's looking good. I mean, I know the deletions kind of skew the number, but everyone's looking good across the board, uh, total EXP wise. All right, moving on to Epic. We have the Knights who say you, of course, moving up a position, uh, 15.3 mil earned in totality. Heaven and Hell, three positions forward. This is a uh, an active mover. Heaven and Hell revived with Pratt, with Dark. Uh, with Zerno, with pretty much a lot of the OG cast returning uh, Hans in there. I think Hans is not an OG, uh, but well nonetheless. So Heaven and Hell just blowing forward with three positions, 13.1 mil earned. Resolve, one of the new one of the newest guilds this season, holding strong with 12.8 mil total with a position forward. Italia, who once again, they're not all Italian. I don't, we got, we got this Italia guild. They're not all Italian. There's like four of them who are Italian. Two positions forward at 10 mil earned and golden arrows showing life still. Two positions forward at 9.3. Let's look what they earned. Let's look, let's look. Nice to say you with 2.4 mil. We have heaven and hell with 3.2, the clear winner in this tier. And they're probably destined. I would say is Chubby and H and H. I'm so sorry, Chubby. Uh, I would say Heaven and Hell is not is destined to be you know beyond epic tier uh, with what's going on here. Resolve still showing, uh, resolve in staying in epic with two point one mil earned, and then there's a clear disparity with Talia and Golden Arrows earning a, a practic you know almost the same. So that's epic tier. <laughs> Super Sis says, "Moi, Italia rise." But are you Italian, Super Sis? Who are you? Uh, Han says, shout out to Pratt. Yeah, shout out to Pratt, brother. X Rise Punch, welcome to Couch Cat. Thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the community. The couch is long and fuel in full friendship, you know what I mean? You yeah, super says, nope, I'm not Italian. I'm Indian and American. <laughs> Faker! <laughs> Alright, let's move on. All right, so here's elite tier. So I haven't really been saying like the positions, but this is 16 through 20. I'm, I'm just blowing through I'm so sorry. Uh, Wolf, three positions forward with 8.7 mil total EXP. We have ZCK with 8.5 total EXP. With Everyone move forward, okay? Uh, TPC, two positions forward, 7.7 .7 mil. That is no joke. Uh, good for them because they are just limping along. Bloodlust, which is Silver Wolf's guild, uh, the infamous wolf blood, you know, temporary leader in in a hundred k within like a day player, and then legacy, never to be seen again, is back with bloodlust and the help of Tansy and Theron, uh, and poaching wolf blood members, uh, and look at them, three positions for six point six mil earned, and they've only been around for like a week, so good on bloodlust. Um, need a tampon to join? Don't forget. Newbies moving a position forward at number 20. Good for them. They're finally in elite tier. Let's see what they actually earned. Uh, Wolf 1.8 mil, which is the highest in the category. So good for them. Wolf has always been uh, just there. It, it, they didn't look active at all, but they're they're doing good here in elite. They're the top tier in elite tier. You know what I mean? That's something. ZZK 1.2 mil, almost three. TPC earning one point almost 1.2 mil uh bloodless 1.5 so they'll be overtaking tpc one day and newbies with one mil uh essentially flat so we're from bloodless saying tansy been gone for a while so it's theron is all that's left from wolf he goes home on the 31st uh that's tomorrow so bloodless good luck 
Uh, never mind. Don't be afraid of Bloodlust anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to uh, Rare. Rare is the final tier of um, the top 25 within the SGL. It's 21 to 25. And we have Murder of Crows moving two positions forward. So Corvoid, shout out to you, with 5.2 total EXP, 5.2 mil total EXP earned. We have Alpha and Omega, one of the newer guilds along with Resolve, with 5.1 mil earned in total. Uh, moving to everyone moved a lot of positions down here. Uh, two positions. Step in, chill. Is Cord back? Where's Cord? Where's Cord? 3.9 mil total earned with two positions for it after Glow, which is a tier two guild. Shout out to them. Uh, and if you're new here, we'll go over tier two in a second. Uh, 3.8 mil, almost nine earned with three positions forward. So that means they they dropped and came back. And then Cult of Eternal Ice finally coming into the SGL. Uh, 3.4 mil earned with five positions forward. Cult of Eternal Ice has been a tier two guild for a while now since we started tracking uh, below 25. So congrats to them. This is their first showing in the SGL. So that, that's epic stuff. I'm a huge, comp you know, I'm a huge fan of tier two. Uh, and congrats, that's sick. They probably don't even know we do this show. That's the best part. These smaller guilds are like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, Cutie, I'm not reading that out loud. All right, so let's go to tier two. So uh, actually, hold on. I didn't go over actually earned. So let's just see what they're earning down here. So Murrow Crows, only half a mil. Uh, Alpha and Omega, one mil. Uh, Step and Chill, almost one mil. Afterglow, basically one mil. And Cult of Eternal Ice, one mil. So six stuff there. Corvoid, uh, you should be sweating. All right. <laughs> Corvoid says our EXP is down at the moment. We have a low active base. Oh, man. That's a. Uh... I guess we'll be talking about uh, Murder of Crow's funeral next week. Okay, so this is tier two. Uh, we This is where we track up to uh, 35 and I'll, of course I'll scoot this up for everyone to see it so tier two we track this because one it's always scrappy down here uh, to keep track of guilds that have fallen out of the SGL to see where they've landed and also to keep eyes on guilds that are up and coming that are newer and that are trying to fight to gain traction to get into the SGL so here is us shouting out tier two uh, Shu, welcome to the stream. Demo, welcome to the stream. Okay. First gen Black Dragon holding strong with two positions forward with 3.3 uh, mil total earned. We have Sorrel Keep with three. That's a that's a newer guild. Nine positions forward. Who the hell is in Sorrel Keep? Does anyone know this guild? Sorrel Keep, nine positions forward, 3.2 mil EXP. Uh, Super Sis, thank you. Oh, wait, no, Demo's already leaving. Never mind. Okay. But wow. 3.2 mil earned. Colt. Fred's old guild, uh, led by Gakuto or, or Grandpa Gakuto, dropping two positions with 3.2 mil total earned. Gorilla Wizards, here they are with 2.7 mil. They're super strong in I don't know, so I, I don't know. I think it's just split. I think they're focused on other games. House of Bamboozle has been floating around, two positions forward, 2.6 mil earned. Blackwater, Sins Guild, uh, falling even further with 2.4 mil earned. Helheim with, hold on, let me, let me. Okay, there we go. Helheim with 2.4 mil earned, moving a position forward. Volpenia, which is Blazing Beast, which is Vex's guild. Shout out to Vex, they're here. 1.9 mil total earned with one position forward. Dante's Infernal Room, they're new. At least they're new to tier two as we've been covering tier two. 1.3, almost four mil total earned with four positions forward. And then Drifter, sadly, who who graced SGL, graced the top 25, and had been a powerful PV in the past. They are now at 35, and they're probably going to fall out. Uh, when you look at earned, you can see here, Blackwater's freaking dead. And Drifter's is dead. Unfortunate. Yeah, Drifter's fell off hard, dude. They came back, and then they were gone. And I saw Sin, I think I saw Sin in Global earlier. I don't, I can't, I can't remember what his guild tag was. Ugh. Vast to ADHD to run a guild. <laughs> Black Dragon on top. Yeah, Mr. Fridge, I guess so. All right, so that was tier two. Uh, exciting stuff. Sorrow Keep coming in hot. Donkey's Inferno coming in 
to the scene and first gen black dragon was a middle of a pack tier two they're actually near the bottom at one point and now they're holding strong they are the gatekeepers of number 26 and they're just patiently waiting to get into the top 25 so good luck to everyone in tier two do 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 all right everyone uh that was I think that was the sixth progress report. I don't know. I don't keep track, but that was the latest progress report for Simple MO's summer seasonal guild leaderboard. Uh, those were the top 25 guilds and their current positions. And that was the tier two system that we're, you know, we're very nearly tracking here. It's only been like a couple of weeks. Uh, and there's been exciting stuff. I mean, guilds have deleted. Rain Factory has deleted, you know, has been deleted. Panamodium has been deleted. Which, for a guild that hasn't been around a long time, they sh they earned a lot of EXP they to shoot in the top 10. So, uh, things... <laughs> people are getting freebies, but there's still a lot of momentum in this season, uh, which is great to see. Uh, and with the community event on the horizon, I wonder how that's going to change. I, I mean, chat, it's probably going to... It'll either get wild or people will die. <laughs> people More guilds will die. Uh, why am I being called Sneaky and Global? Damn it, Adam. Okay, anyway... Uh, thank you so much for everyone here for the SGL and thanks to all the guilds participating in this SGL and thanks to everyone at the, you know, part of the VOD squad who watches this at a later date.